Good morning everyone, welcome to a brand new day. It is super early in the morning and I'm trying not to be so noisy because we're outside. It's literally like 6 o'clock in the morning, like it's just gone over. I decided to come outside for the morning um, because it's probably going to rain today. So it's not raining at the moment. We're just trying to get some fresh air because this is probably the only time we'll probably get outside today. My morning is so simple right now. I'm literally sitting on very cold grass watching three little snails like find their way to food or something actually makes me think like one how do snails make other snails like how do they mate uh, come on. and two do they change come shells on. or do they come shells on. grow with them come on. early morning thoughts do we want to go inside yes, rain. oh is the rain coming do you want to say goodbye to freddy snail daddy snail mummy snail Hi snail baby, let's go inside then Freddy. This is a good cup of tea. Oh, it's so good. I love when you can make a good cup of tea. You just want to down it like instantly and I want to do it with that. I want to do it with this one. I want to chug this. But I'm not going to do that because then I'll have to go make another one because I will be disappointed that it's over. Now it's 7.30 and we're finally sitting down and having some breakfast. I'm actually sitting in a different spot today. Normally I would face that way, you would see the lounge, but um, we're changing it up because I changed things up in my house and I'm really excited for you guys to see it because I'm so proud of myself. It's all to do with this area right here, which you can't really see because I'm hiding most of it with my body. Also there is two missing chairs down here. They are outside holding a rug up because I had to wash it. You know how I said it was going to rain today? Well, we have blue skies now, so I have no idea what is going on with this weather. No idea, we will forecast thunderstorms today and it is bright blue skies now. Weatherman, get with the program. Can you please just figure out your job and do what you're meant to do? I think this morning we're actually gonna go for a walk, get my steps in, cause I've got my Fitbit on now. I haven't had my Fitbit for like two years. It's been sitting in my drawer for two years. And Jason recently got a watch that counts his steps. And it's really got me motivated to wear my Fitbit again, just so I know if I'm being too lazy or I'm being really active. And lately it's been motivating me so much to just like get out and walk and do some exercise, it tracks my sleep, everything like that. So I know if I'm doing well or if I'm doing bad or whatever, but because I've got it on, I feel like I need to walk a lot because it just motivates me to get my numbers up to 10,000 steps a day. So I think we're gonna go for a walk before this rain comes because the weather has already changed. It's getting a little bit dark, so I'm gonna pop on some clothes, pop on some shoes, and either go for a walk around the block or we'll go down to the beach and just go for a quick stroll on the beach. This sweet, sweet dreams. Every breath means letting go. Climbing my silence to show. Peaceful. Well, the beach was fun as it lasted, but. It is so windy down here, absolutely so windy, and there's no other dogs on the beach. So we had the whole beach to ourselves, but Freddie's not enjoying it because it's really choppy down here and he doesn't like waves. So we're gonna head home. I've brought my Fitbit. We're gonna check how many steps I've done at the beach this morning. I don't think I've done that many because we didn't walk that far this morning. It is so windy outside. It's so good to get in the car and are away from the wind. It's like insane outside. I should have known better not to come to the... Woo! Aircon, calm down. I should have known better not to come to the beach when it's super windy, but we did anyway. So now, we're gonna head home. Do you wanna listen to some tunes, Frederick? Yes? Daddy? Oh, uh, I don't know if we can listen to Dad's tunes. Maybe Mum's tunes. Yeah. Daddy tune. <laughs> Daddy tune. Daddy's tunes. Yeah. Place I go when I'm all alone. Do anything I want. Be anyone I wanna be. Better 
Literally. That song is probably gonna be in my head for the rest of the day. Frederick just finished painting and I decided to get some lentils out for him and just let him have a little play in this tray that I have had for like over a year now and yeah I just thought he could have a little play with some lentils. It's a bit of a sensory play thing and they kind of do this like stuff at daycare so I thought I would probably start introducing it into his day-to-day -day life when he's at home so he's still learning and playing at the same time so I thought that that would be a good idea but I thought while Frederick is having fun and he's entertained I'm gonna show you guys what I've done to the lounge room so this is what I've done to my lounge room so this is obviously one side of my lounge room this is the boring side this is the exciting side, but it looks so good. So I decided to buy two new plants. I've got a spider plant. I'm pretty sure it's called a spider plant. And I got a fiddle leaf. I'm so excited. I can't wait for that to grow all the way up. But I finally got a fiddle leaf. I also moved this plant that was in the bedroom into here because I just liked how it contrasted with these plants. So I'll have to go get another plant for the bedroom. I also moved this, it was on this wall here, but I've moved it back into here because I really like it. I like the gray against my orange brick. I also moved my little clock. My clock was sitting on that wall, so I moved it down here because I thought it was a little bit too small to be on a wall by itself. I also moved one of the table placemats to here because we don't really use them and I can easily go get another one for the table, but I really liked it here. Plus, I saw my friend do it at her house and I was like, I need to do that. Why haven't I not thought of that? And then we moved the bedroom mirror into here. Jason's not gonna like it, but I love it. The reason why I don't think Jason will like it is because I've been trying to put the mirror here for the last couple of weeks and Jason has just kept on moving it back to the bedroom. But last week when he was home, it was there and he didn't move it back. So fingers crossed he doesn't have an issue with it being over then. I think it looks so good here. It's not good lighting for photos, but it's still like a good backdrop, I think. So. I'm keeping it here for the moment. Another thing I didn't mention is that we also got new doors on our TV unit. Our TV unit is from Ikea and you can change them up. Um, you can just go to Ikea and just change them up really easily. So we did that. So we used to have black doors and then I wanted this lighter color because we have the lighter wood all in our house now. And I also decided to put legs on it because it wasn't it didn't have legs on it before so I decided to go get some legs and I really like it. All I need to do now is to get new cushions for the couch, get a new throw for the couch. We actually plan to get a new couch because that couch is actually broken. So we actually are planning to get a new couch. We found the couch we want but we just need to make sure that it's gonna fit and everything. And then I can work on this bedroom. I'm so excited to work on this bedroom. So excited like it's going to look amazing it's mainly just this wall that i'm going to be working on because everything else in the bedroom's okay it's fine it's, it's mainly just this back wall and give it some life so i'm so excited to do this room so excited this is my next thing on my list i'm going to be bargain hunting for the whole thing mainly it's just like plants i'm going to hang up some stuff on the wall 
and uh, get some new linen. That's basically it. So it's going to be cheap as. But I'm really excited to have this room done and look pretty like the rest of my house. Well, as much as I want to say that we've been having such a fun filled afternoon, we haven't, had we? Yeah. No, we haven't been doing really much this afternoon, have we? <laughs> no, we've been lazy. Ooh. Haven't we? Yeah. We've been so lazy. <laughs> so I have wanted to just basically sit down and chat with you guys because the last time I did a vlog and sat down and chat with you guys you actually really enjoyed it and there has been something on my mind that I want to open up about because I have been struggling with it and I know I am open about how my mental health is and how it's going and lately it just hasn't been very well. I've had to pick up the camera off the bed because Frederick is jumping around too much and just moving the camera so much that I have to pick it up. I just want to talk to you all about my mental health. Lately it hasn't been amazing. I've actually been um, really struggling with my mental health lately. Um, the last two days I've actually done so much better than the last week. Mostly it is to do with the changing attitude of Frederick. He is getting closer to three and it's a whole new stage of his life and a whole new development of him and I'm really struggling with that at the moment. Um, it's a completely different attitude that I am used to with him and I've just been struggling with the change and it has really affected me personally I feel like I need to I need to be honest but it's even made me thought not to have any more children because how much I'm struggling with this stage and that makes me upset because I want so many more children but I don't but I don't know if I could mentally deal with this stage again. I don't want to put the blame on Frederick for my mental health. I don't want him growing up thinking that uh, I struggled with mental health issues because of him. So I'm trying to learn new things on how to cope with the changing attitude of Frederick. And it's slowly like getting there like I'm slowly implementing new things and doing new things so that one Frederick doesn't feel like um, he made his mum sad or angry but also just learning how to calm myself down I'm not saying that I dislike my son or anything like that but parenting is bloody hard. I just want to say if anyone watching this video is suffering from mental health issues please speak out and please be open about them. It honestly feels so good to open up about my mental health issues when I had been so closed off when I was a teenager struggling with depression. If anyone is going through mental health issues if you want to open up to someone you're welcome to message me and we can have a chat. I literally just looked at my viewfinder and I saw how beautiful the sky is looking at the moment. Oh my god, that's so stunning. Anyway, I'm going to get going, so I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.